guys, welcome back. It is our 2023 best ofs. It's Ro, it's Fel, and today we're doing serums. If you haven't checked out our first video, this is one of four or five. Now we're on serums. Woo! Arguably one of the most effective steps of the skincare routine. That targets every single skin concern that you could probably have. Whether you want brightening, whether you want acne, whether you want hydration. Whether you want acne. <laughs> you you, you want, want to get rid of that. Go away. <laughs> yes. Who wants acne? We have three each, so let's just get into our top three serums for the year of 2023. Woo! Oh yes, no, I need to start. Okay. I must start. I must start. Guys, I must start. And let me just read to you what is on their website product page. She was like, trying to explain it to me last night. I was like, okay, I don't get it. With just a single sheet mask, feel the tightened pores and skin texture as much as you endure. It goes on. Please be careful. It's okay for normal skin, but if your pores are stretched, it could be a little bit stinging. But if you want to take care of pores more tightened, why don't you endure it for a moment? You can understand as much as you use. If you endure it more, your skin will become softer. <laughs> okay, so when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh, maybe it just might be like a cultural translation thing. Google translate. Yeah, that's really strange because endure is a very specific word that doesn't really go hand in it's hand with intense. skincare. Yeah. Huh. So what is this product? This is Numbusin's number three Tingle Pore Softening Sheet Mask. My pores have been, you know, a little bit more enlarged these days. So I was like, okay, I want to take care of it. So for this, it definitely tingled a bit, but like it wasn't crazy. So it's like a tingle of freshness versus like a chemical exfoliation tingle. Yeah, it's mm. not like a chemical exfoliation tingle. It's the face so wonderfully. But I feel like because it did say if you have normal skin, if your pores aren't that enlarged, it won't penetrate that deeply. Mm. But the reason why it is tingling is because it, like the active ingredients are like going into your pores. They call it the burning phenomenon. <laughs> Their choice of words, it just keeps getting better. I'm not making fun of them. I think it's just like, I had so much joy when I read this. All right, time to take the sheet mask off. Glowing. And the pores, really, when you wake up the next day, I always wake up shocked, like absolutely shocked. I went to bed. Mm. I woke up, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, who are you? <laughs> oh, man, you look like, good. Yes. Yeah. So this really does the most. Mm. And the reason why I'm talking about a sheet mask in a serum section is because this comes from like a serum. A sheet mask serum with all the sensations of Endurance. <laughs> Endurance. <laughs> Love numbers in. Okay, so I have a serum. It's an ampule. And it's interesting because they spell it A-M-P-U-L-E. And I was like, okay, what is this product? Ampule. Once again, we start our favorite products with much confusion. <laughs> it's actually this really not well-known brand. And at first I was actually pretty skeptical because I hadn't seen anything about it. But I looked into it and it's even sold on Olive Young. And this one specifically is a propolis ampule. Propolis is one of my favorite ingredients because you know how healing honey is. And it's just great for my acne and restoring dehydration. It comes out like a gel, but it's really lightweight. And then you put it on and just like instantly absorbs into your skin. It's like in between a serum and that kind of snail mucin texture. Oh my goodness. Low key water bursting. Yeah. But like it's, it's kind of like a watered down honey texture. Yeah. So when I first used it, I was like, oh my God, I need to find out more. And then I realized looking into like Yes Style and Olive Young, I realized there's like a secret cult following for this brand, but it was on Yes Style that I saw a lot of people were like, oh my God, this is my holy grail. Like it gives you a veil of hydration, but it's not sticky. It sinks in and it's long lasting. And that's exactly what it is. So on top of just concentrated levels of propolis, there's also the beta glucan that we mentioned. There's metacasicide for soothing. And you guys know how much I love the Dr. Suricle. That one is much more watery. This one is viscousy. I've been obsessed since the day I started. This is really good. It makes Sold. If you check on Amazon, I don't know why the ratings aren't that great. People were complaining about the packaging, but I'm like, it's actually a great formula. There's just, mm. people haven't discovered it. They haven't talked about it yet. So. You heard her here first. Yeah, you heard her here first. 
in my mind, I was gonna say sold within just like two minutes of you talking about it, and I just kept holding it. <laughs> I was like, mm, <laughs> waiting for my speak? moment. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> I asked Fritter. <laughs> I feel like we're having a brightening moment because I don't know, as we age, we just need to kind of get dull. We just need overall brightening of life. And so the Jumiso All Day Vitamin C Pure C 5.5 has been my holy grail vitamin C. This year. And you know the funny thing is, we've been in separate places, you in LA, me in New York, and we like both discovered At this the same time. and didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> this has 5.5% ascorbic acid. There's also ferulic acid, tocophera, alpha arbutin. This is like the trifecta. I also found over time with years and years and years and years of using all these different vitamin Cs that pure ascorbic acid was, works best for my skin. Okay. It's so funny because L ascorbic acid scares me. It gives me a rash. It's too potent sometimes, but I can use this one. This is the only vitamin C serum that I've used in a very long time that is actually effective in fading my freckles. Mm. Many things faded it in my 20s. Now that I'm not in my 20s, not many things can Stubborn. actually do a good job at fading it. So this works. This is definitely more affordable compared to most of the vitamin C serums on the market. Using this product just made me realize vitamin C and serums in general, like good ones, like it doesn't need to cost an arm and a leg. Mm. This one doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like yes. hot dogs. It doesn't smell like turkey, ham. Yeah. And that's also one thing to note. A lot of people have also, based on our recommendations, bought this. And they said when they received it, it was already yellow. Mm. So I remember mine, it wasn't completely clear or white. It was a tint of yellow, but it ages. So if yours is already yellow and orange, I would yeah. say, definitely reach out. It. Yeah, reach out to whatever retailer yeah. you got it from. There's a chart from Jumiso that we'll put on screen. By the time it gets to this color, just get a new bottle. Goodbye! Yeah. Vitamin so, C is not something that you hold on to. And I met the founder, one of the founders, when I went to Korea, and then his brother had like crazy acne skin conditions, which is why they started Jumiso in their college room, like dorm room together. It's like a family business, very nice people. Yeah. Oh, and another thing that you might not realize is I was watching a Chemist Confessions video where they were testing all the most popular vitamin Cs. I didn't realize, but because it's acidic, some of the vitamin C dropper oh, things yeah. will balloon. Or like sometimes they'll start coming it out. It gets greasy. Yeah. yeah. So if the formulation, like they were pointing out Cosrx, you know the newer clinical line? Mm -hmm. They were saying it's got a high amount of ellascorbic acid because they wanted to pack so much in there, but actually it's like goes rancid even quicker and it starts to bulge and like all this stuff. So if you notice any of these signs, it could be like not all vitamin C serums are made the same and it's just something to be wary of, but this one stays intact and it's beautiful. So my next, the Super Egg Vitamin Collective. This reminds me of Minion. True, but I realized it's also like a it's vitamin, vitamin capsule yeah. bottle. Yeah. It's based off of a slew of vitamins. And you have to watch the video that I made all about hyperpigmentation and brightening because we get hyperpigmentation when our skin realizes it's depleted of antioxidants. So what do you need to do to fill it back up? It's vitamins and antioxidants because vitamins are antioxidants. <laughs> I think my main concern is like, I'm always uneven somewhere, whether it's from acne or it's dry, it's combo all around. Hydrating it with an oil water balanced product helps to rebalance your skin. So in here, there is a combination of vitamin B, there's C, there's F, there's K, as well as astaxanthin, licorice root, which is really good for inflammation and subtly brightening. One of my favorite niacinamide alternatives actually is licorice root. And then it's also got niacinamides. And your favorite tremella mushroom. My favorite tremella. If you see mushroom in anything, you'll know that the hydration and moisturization will go a long way and it's very long lasting. So what makes this like, there's a fluff. Go away. This and the little round serum are the best, I feel like. I love the Biome Mist, and this is $65. Ah. And I feel like the difference between these two serums is that this is just vitamin C. Like if you want to brighten your skin, go for something like this. If you want just overall skin health with brightening, with antioxidants, with hydration, with all of these yeah. things, why am I losing my breath? Go for something like this. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. It's very different. 
just lost my breath there. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> so then, just quickly, because this is the new guy, but it rose to one of my favorites because I remember back in the day when we started Beauty Within, I used to use this just rosehip oil for my acne hyperpigmentation. And rosehip oil just plays so well with acne prone skin because like back in the day, I didn't want to use anything oil, but that was actually harming my skin and it was making it off balance. It was dry, dehydrated, and it would make more acne. But with this, it's based on the understanding that acne prone skin lacks linoleic acid. So there's oleic acid and linoleic acid. So acne prone skin has been found to lack linoleic. The true test is how it performs yes. on your skin. So what I found this is best for is, you know when we tend to like dehydrate our skin with acne products and then you get that like peeling around the rim of the ghost of your pimple or leading up to my period, I get really combo and imbalanced where it will be dry here it will be dry here, but like oily in the T-zone and a slew of jawline acne. So this helps to kind of rebalance the oils in your skin, which then heal your skin naturally. I only use this at night. You can use it day and night. It's still a little too oily for me during the day. I don't want that kind of nourishment, but at night I'm like all in with the thick moisturizers and this lightweight milky oil and it just heals everything that Leah does is healing, even her voice, <laughs> and it permeates through her products. My last mentions would be the Isentree Hyper Retinol X 1.0 Serum and the Hyper Niacinamide 20 Serum. This is my skin cycling magic. I just was like, oh, today I feel like using a vitamin C. Oh, I feel like I've used a retinol for a while. Let me just mm. use a little bit of, oh, today like niacinamide. And overall, this, this has been like a low key rougher year mm -hmm. in my world of just going through things with like moving and transitioning and like you know figuring out a lot of things and making peace with a lot of things so i felt a bit rough and when mm. you feel rough your skin usually is rough Dull. too yeah. but with skin cycling my skin was bright Fake it till brighter you make than it. me <laughs> we talked about this in korea olive, olive young. young hall video that we did that will link the retinol. They use 0.1% retinol that's encapsulated, 0.3% retinol palmitate, and then 0.6% bakuchol. So it's this blend that I feel like it's very gentle. I put two drops on each cheek, one on my nose, and I just pat it in and like mm. really allow it to absorb in my skin. And I feel like just this combined has given me the skin that I've always wanted. Yeah, actually, with the it's numbers the in. Thing. <laughs> with the numbers in. Just remember, retinol with an O is different to retinol with an A. Yes. So retinol has to be converted into retinol, which is retinol to hide, which then has to be converted into retinoic acid for our skin to pick up on it. So because of the two-step conversion process, it makes it way better for sensitive skin. And then we also have a niacinamide because I am skin cycling. This is the one that I use the least because mm. I usually just do the vitamin C most and then sometimes the retinol. But this is just more of like a shout out mm. that I use in tandem with the rest of the routine. Mm. The standard is really these two. Mm. Yay! Those are our soups. Yeah. Next week, we're gonna be talking about all about moisturizers for one video and yes. sunscreen for the other. And if you didn't, again, watch the cleansing and then toner favorites, we have that, we'll have it linked up here. See you then. Bye.